The historic Scotty Goldmine is the center of our exploration program. Like many of our zones, this area is road accessible, and it's so intensely mineralized that you can clearly see the mineralization in rusty orange outcrops as you approach from the road. It operated from 1981 to 1985 and produced over 95,000 ounces of some of the highest grade gold in Canada, with a recover grade just over 16 grams per ton gold. To put that in context, that's in the upper threshold of gold deposits worldwide. Despite these world-class grades, the economy shifted in the early 1980s and the dropping price of gold combined with extreme interest rates of up to 22% forced the mine to shut down. At the time of shutdown, they estimated at least two years of production remained in front of them with a known resource, leaving a great deal of gold untouched and extremely large areas underexplored. The mine was production focused, meaning little energy and little money went into exploring around the deposit they were mining and most of the drilling was done from underground. So today we're taking a different approach at Scotty, drilling from the surface and delving deeper into the geology to better understand the true extent of the entire deposit. In 2019, we drilled the M zone and delivered some truly impressive results. We stepped out 50 meters in front of the known ore body and showed that high grade gold continues down plunger than main structure, extending the known deposit to the west and at depth. And again in 2020, we drilled an area called the Ozone and made a significantly greater discovery of Bonanza braids, expanding the depth of the known deposit to the north. So let's take a look at the specific geology from some of the core from our 2020 drill program. We're here at our core logging facility in Stewart, BC. So what we've got here is the ozone. So this is part of the Scotty Gold Mine. This is the northernmost vein that we, we've seen at the Scotty Gold Mine itself proper. And they actually pushed over a tunnel to it late in the production of the, uh, the Scotty Gold Mine, but never fully mined it out. And so what we've done is we've actually drilled underneath that projection of the vein and just kind of extended it down depth. And it, it's still open at depth here. Uh, but this, this was a big intercept for us. This was 109.4 grams per ton over 2.53 meters in this box right here. We're hosted in andesitic rocks of the Hazelton Formation. So this is an undifferentiated sequence of volcanic plastic rocks. Most of them are gray, green, fairly heterogeneous and a little bit boring in places until you come to one of the main veins or subveins to, to the Scotty Gold Mine where you get an intense amount of sulfidation. So pyrotite and pyrite largely together, and then you get quartz carbonate shear veins along the margins, as well as an extensional veins within the system itself. And usually it doesn't carry any visible gold, but this is actually one of the occurrences that we actually see a significant amount of visible gold in, in it. And this is kind of exceptional for the Scotty gold mine, but the grades here are also exceptional even by Scotty standards. We continue to discover significant high-grade intercepts in underexplored areas of this historic zone. Given the excellent infrastructure and the high-grade nature of the ore body, the Scotty Gold Mine asset is a cornerstone of Scotty resources and easily one of the greatest claims in the Golden Triangle. 